You've got your new shiny MacBook and now you want to transfer all the data from the old one as soon as possible. Don't worry, I got you. Here's the fastest way to do it without any cables, just over there. When you first turn on your MacBook, select your language and your region. You can set up everything later. And now next to the important part, you have to put all your laptops to the same Wi-Fi network. That's how the computers will be able to find each other. Select that you want to transfer the information from another Mac. You better connect both of your computers to power outlet because the migration can take up some time. By the way, I just turned on my old MacBook and it's so noisy. Take a look. I just hope the new one will be silent. Connect your old MacBook to the same network, search for Migration Assistant in the spotlight and press enter. It will start, go continue and enter your password. And because this is your old Mac, you have to choose to transfer data to another Mac. This is very important. Don't mess up. <laughs> you will receive a six digit number on your new MacBook. Make sure it matches with the number on your old MacBook screen. Press continue and you'll be able to select which of the data to transfer. Actually, you can transfer everything, all of the photos. I had almost one terabyte of storage taken and after about an hour, it's now less. Then you'll need to set the password for your new laptop. I just typed the same I had on my old one. Then, of course, you must accept terms and conditions. And boom, the transfer starts. Uh, because I'm using my iPhone as a hotspot, everything was uh, really slow and it even stopped in the middle of the night because of not stable connection, I think. In the end, you will see this window telling you that migration is complete. I had some settings not transferred. I don't know which, but everything works okay. I had to reinstall some of the applications, but that's how you do it. Now just log into your new computer and have fun. Now watch this video next if you want to know more about photography and filmmaking. And of course I will be doing more real life tests with this new MacBook.